So, saber means to know, and conocer also means to know. Thank you. It's been great. Have a good rest of class. That's just a joke. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, I need to disambiguate. Uh, this means to explain and make things clear for you. So, here's a couple of questions to illustrate the difference. La bebé sabe que mira su reflexión o conoce a una bebé nueva. So here I've used saber in the sentence and conocer in the sentence. This is my daughter Celeste when she was a baby. She's in middle school now, All right? So this picture was taken quite some time ago. But she's looking at herself in the mirror. So the questions are asking, does the baby know she's looking at her reflection or does she think she's meeting any baby? So saber deals with like factual knowledge, talents and abilities, things you know how to do. And como ser deals more with like uh, people and experiences. And I'll give you way too many examples. <laughs> I'll give you a lot of examples. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to kind of catch the rhyme and rhythm to this. So uh, let me just ask you, what do you think, honestly? Like, do, you, do you think she knows that she's looking at her reflection, or do you think she thinks, wow, friend. <laughs> so, oh, the babies just like, use their hands, you know, or their open fist, or uh, closed fist. What do you think? Do you think she thinks she's meeting a new baby? <laughs> or do you think she's like, science, ah, reflection, light reflection and refraction. Like, does she think, what do you think? It's a new friend. Friend, yeah, and then she's me. I think she thinks so too. I think she thinks I must free this baby from the prison. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe all babies are born with like this keen understanding of science. They just don't have the ability to express it. You know, maybe babies are born knowing the grand unified theory of everything, and then by like age two, they completely lose it. <laughs> who knows? Okay. So, saber, conjugated like this, you've seen it before. If you already have this written down, you don't need to write it down again, but notice that saber is irregular in the yo form. It's irregular just in the yo form. <coughs> Repitan, saber. Se. Se. Sabes. Sabe. Sabe. Sabemos. Sabemos. Sabéis. 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 Saben. Saben. And of course, you don't have to copy down the vosotros form, it's just there for you to see. A video up about this information today so if you need some more time to copy these things down you'll have more time all right next uh, here here are some examples la bebé that should be la bebé sabe Oh no, sorry, la bebé se llama Celeste, I see. Okay, la bebé se llama Celeste. Celeste sabe gatear, sostener un vaso, decir papá, mamá y agua. Okay. So at this age, what she knew how to do, she knew how to crawl, she knew how to hold a cup in her hand, she could hold a cup, and she could also say papá, Mama and agua. Now, it sounds kind of funny, but think about the phonetic um, sounds a baby makes. And then think about the word agua. In Spanish, sometimes one of the baby's first words is actually agua because it's really easy to say. And when you have bath time, like every night, you know, it's a real teachable moment there. I mean, the babies are in, in water and you pour water on their heads or, you know, you hold the 
hold your hand there and put your head. But you know, you would you say to a baby, "Que le echan, que le echan." You know, what are they? What, what's being poured on you? What's being poured on you? And you repeat, "Agua, agua." So you think, "Agua, agua," right? Sometimes babies say, "Agu," <laughs> just all by themselves. So that's like one vowel away from saying like "agua," sort of. Anyways, so that's what she could do at that age. So those are all things you can express with the verb saber. Celeste sabe gatear, sostener un vaso, decir papá, mamá y agua. Conocer is also irregular in the yo form. Repitan, conocer. Conocer. Conozco. Conoces. Conoce. Conocemos. Conocéis. Conocen. Muy bien. Just to let you know, if um, if you were saying this in Spain, they speak Spanish a little differently. If the C comes before an I or an E, they actually pronounce it like a TH. So like, um, Conoces would actually, they would say conoces. Conoces. Yeah, I know, it's different. It's really, it's really different. So both saber and conocer mean literally to know, and both of them are irregular in the yo form. All right. So. Again, la bebé se llama Celeste. Celeste conoce a sus abuelos, los programas de Nick Jr. and Costa Rica. So, these are different instances in which you would use the verb conocer and not saber. One is with meeting people. A sus abuelos. Celeste knows her grandparents. And at, at that point in time, all of her grandparents were, were still living. So that was definitely a good thing. Asos abuelos. Here's another another tip for you. Conocer tends to be like the verb that causes the confusion. Saber is like pretty much straightforward, you know. But even like what I just said right now, I asked you a question. I said, you know, in Spanish that's tu sabes, you know, right? And that's saber. So saber is usually pretty straightforward. Conocer is the one that's like requires a little bit more thought. So when you're here's here's a tip. When you're talking about people and there's a verb that's like directed towards a person, in Spanish you use something called the personal a. Ah. This is a review from Spanish one, the personal a. Ah. So with a sus abuelos, her grandparents, right? That if you see that, it's going to be conocer. You're going to use conocer if something is directed at people. So if you have a sentence and you've got a blank and you've got to choose saber o conocer and you see a before people, it's conocer. That's a little, little tip for you there. Creative works. Um, conocer can also mean to be familiar with. So she doesn't know the Nick Jr. programs personally. But she's very familiar with them. She even had her favorites. Team Umizumi was definitely one of her favorites. You know, um, oh, what are some other ones? I can't remember. Oh, Dora and Diego. Uh, Nihao Kailan was one of her favorites too. Yeah, just, you know, a bunch of Anyways, she was very familiar with the Nick Jr. programs. And so that's why we choose Ponose because we were familiar with creative work. So that could also apply to being familiar with the music of Bach or Beethoven, or being familiar with the art of Monet or Vermeer, you're familiar with their works. And countries, cities, states, um, state parks, you know, places, destinations. If you have been to those places, like if you would say, let's talk about Mexico, and someone says, I've been to Mexico, you would say, conozco a Mexico. So at that point in time in her life, Celeste had been to Costa Rica to visit family. And so that's why we say Celeste conoce Costa Rica. Okay? All right. 
So those are the differences between Sam and the Stouter. You can see side by side contrast here. These are so that's an ability. That's an ability. That's an ability. You really couldn't assess whether or not she knew certain facts, like the grand unifying theory of everything, because she couldn't talk <laughs> yet. So we just I just focused on abilities, and then over on the right side we've got people, creative works, and a country. So here's me. I know how to yo sé tocar el bajo, play the bass guitar. Came out of madera, and it's uh, to burn wood. I like to do wood burning. And yo sé mucho sobre NASA. I know a lot about NASA. I think space is a pretty cool place. Well, I've never been personally, but. If I did, I would say conozco el espacio, but I've not. So, for conocer, conozco Francia, I've been in France. Conozco a mis amigos, I know my friends. And conozco la música moderna, I know modern music. I like modern music. Okay. I like unique modern music, I'll put it that way. All right, so I'm going to give you guys some examples, and you're going to tell me if you would use the verbs saber o conocer. You don't need to conjugate anything. You just look at the situation, and you tell me to express this, would you use the verb saber or conocer? Okay? My mom. Conocer. Very good. My mom's name. Saber. Muy bien. Mexico. Conocer. <clears throat> How to spell Mexico? Saber. That's saber. Muy bien. Skateboard tricks. Saber. saber. Eric Costin. Good. Do you know who Eric Costin is? No. He's one of the top ten greatest skateboarders of all time. Which is that? That's a, that's a big statement because time is still going on. I don't know if you guys are, you know, familiar with this or not, but. Uh, time, in like a hundred years, time will still be going on. Will Eric Costin still be one of the top ten greatest skateboarders of all time a hundred years from now? I don't know. Yo no sé. Aha. I don't know. <coughs> Saber o conocer. A mi amigo. Conocer. Good. One, you can deduct from the situation because amigo is a person. There's another thing that tells you that you use conocer here. What is it? Uh, it's the A. Ah, the personal A ah will let you know it's going to be conocer. Muy bien. ¿Quién es mi amigo? Who, who my friend is? Say it again. I couldn't hear you. Saber. Yeah. Knowing my friend and knowing who he is are different. Like if you know him personally, or if you know who he is, that's factual information. Tocar la guitarra. Saber. Vram Kurlopian. Conocer. Good. So you may be asking yourself, well, you know, Mr. Tiller, do you know Vram Kurlopian? Maybe. <laughs> Who's Vram Kurlopian? <laughs> Uh, he's a guitarist for Gustav from New York City, and there's Lydia Gamil. Yeah, so I know you're like highly impressed. I know you don't know who they are. It's fine. They're a pretty cool band. El Presidente. Conocer. If I ask you if you know the president, that's going to be conocer. Quién es el presidente? Saber. Yeah, knowing knowing the president personally. It's different than knowing who the president is. Jugar football. Saber. Jugar baseball. Saber. Bailar. Saber. Yeah. A mi amiga. Conocer. Anderson. A guy named Anderson. Conocer. Ashley. Conocer. La música de Bach. Conocer, good. Remember creative works of conocer. Tocar una canción de Bach. To play a song by Bach. Conos, uh, no, saber. Saber. Um, knowing about Bach's music is one thing, but knowing how to play one of, his, one of Bach's songs is an ability. So that would be saber. El arte de Van Gogh. Conocer. Conocer. Pintar. 
Como Van Gogh? To paint like Van Gogh. Saber. Good. All right, and that's the uh, that's the end. Very good. good job, guys. You did it. <laughs> okay.